Ryan here, and today I'm going to be talking about 40 Smith & Wesson, and more specifically, we'll be looking at this pistol, the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact, and 40 Smith & Wesson 13 plus 1, or 10 plus 1 in, you know, unconstitutional states. And uh, here's the ammunition. Here's a 9mm, 355. Here's a 40, which is 40. And here's our 45.451. So 40 splits the difference quite well. And yet it's totally fallen out of favor because people lie to you and say nine millimeters just as good. Well, no, it's not because starting diameter matters if it's only FMJ ball and bigger diameter matters because the larger diameter it starts at is the more that it's going to expand you equal hollow points to equal hollow points. So a 40 HST, 180 grain, Compared to the 124 plus P uh, HST, does about 1.65, 1.66 times as much tissue crush. So 340 HSTs to someone's upper thoracic cavity is equal to about five HSTs to the AB zone upper thoracic cavity. And we've seen people take from four to 12 shots, many shots, and reanimate with nine millimeter. That's what we're seeing in almost all these uh, police shootouts and other CCTV footage, like an act of self-protection. So the question I'm kind of posing is, if I'm just going to be lazy and carry a nine, why not go with this micro nine or a macro micro nine if you want? This is a micro nine, 3.1 inch barrel, but if you want to get a macro, one of those 3.44 to 3.7 inch uh, barrels, if you're going to go a nine millimeter, why not just go with that? Why would you go with a form factor as big and as heavy as this? Can you shoot it a little bit better? Yes. But if I'm going to go with a form factor of something like this, Something Glock 19 sign would be a Glock 23, or instead of an M&P 2.0 and 9mm compact, why not go 40? You're only giving up a couple rounds that you're most likely not to use, and um, and yet you have more capacity than 45, which might make you worry with only 9. But with 14 rounds, is 14 going to make a difference versus 16? No, especially when it doesn't exponentially amount more tissue crush if you hit eight or ten times than say, nine millimeters so is the recoil as bad as people say i don't think so because the first pistol i ever bought was a glock 23 when i was 18 years old but it has been a very long time since i've shot 40 other than one mag out of my old friend uh slick 50s usp uh, about a year year and a half ago so other than that i have not shot 40 in a very very long time so let's see is it short and weak no it's actually what john moses browning just about just a little bit weaker than the 200 grain at a thousand feet per second so we get 180 at about 950 180 between 900 and a thousand feet per second uh so it's basically n40 caliber is what john browning actually wanted and there was some prototype high powers and things of that nature but in the night in the 1911 yeah, blow your mind. So anyway, let's see how the 2.0 compact and my thoughts on the 40. All right, let's take the first five shots with the MMP Compact 40. Uh, it's the original hinge trigger, not the newer dingus triggers they have. And uh, I've never shot one in 40 before. I've shot a few rounds over the years in 2.0 is a 9mm, but just a few rounds. I already wish uh, there was some tape here or an accelerator cut. But the grip texture, I like heavy grip texture. Let's go for her chest. Seven yards. Is it a little snappy? Yeah, it's actually a twerky round. For some reason, it divvies up and goes kind of laughs. And there's a lot of wiggle left right as it recoils up in 40 compared to 9 and 45. I don't know why that is, uh, but it's actually a twerky round when people say snappy. Does it feel a little snappy? A little bit. Is it uncontrollable? Uh, no, no, not whatsoever. We'll keep going. All right, guys, it's getting cold. I'm going to do three three-shot drills of seven yards so you can uh, gauge the recoil. I'm starting to do this in some of my videos and caliber uh, war so you can kind of see the difference. I need to put some grip tape there. That would definitely help my support thumb and accelerator pad. Uh, but the, oh, the grip texture is great. This has the three white dots. The blood, the rear has been blacked out with uh, Sharpie. So three shot drill from low ready. There we go. Ready, one, two, three. Whoa, that last 
last one I did bad, and I think I threw this second shot. All right, let's see how poorly that was. So, 5A zone, 4B zone, uh, three triple taps, kind of the last two are sort of fast. One of those is the one I thought I threw high, right? Uh, I think. So, I got five here, good. A zone, and then here. So, I'm, I'm not dropping low left, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, and I think I definitely get used to it. This is um, a Blazer Brass 180 grain right now. For carry, probably like 180 grain HST. If you're not worried about barrier penetration, Gun Sam tested... Uh, the Underwood 150 grain Nosler expanded huge. I'd like to see more testing with that. Uh, and anyway, not bad so far. All right, guys, I'm starting to layer up. It's already, already getting cold, so you might want to carry a 9 uh, during the summertime and whatnot. But once it gets wintertime, maybe you want to carry a 40 because maybe you know a smaller diameter hollow point, even a good hollow point, is more likely to get clogged going through Multiple layers of clothing, like through the arm, the shoulder, another layer, another layer, the three shirts underneath, etc. Um, it ends up stacking up a lot more than even the four layers you think uh, don't make sense. So maybe something like a 40 does make sense. I'm going to do on these three bad guys here at seven yards without moving, just to get a little more used to the recoil impulse. I think I threw that last shot left. Didn't get the best draw. Using a tolster outside waistband holster. That kind of works. Use code Dan the Wolfman. Get 15% off. And on the female baddie here, the HBIC, I got two A zone, one B zone, but it's a very center line and still upper thoracic. Big chested girl here, maybe on the spine. An evil Danny Glover. Trish wasn't a writer. He was getting that money for doing some dirty stuff. Two A zone perfectly, one way up high in the throat. I don't know what's going on there. I uh, got on the trigger uh, wall still and recoil before I settled down. And here's one two A zone. And that last one, I did feel my grip shift and I pulled it left. But that's still a good B zone. So either one, if these are 40 HSTs, three rounds each get bad guy upper thoracic is similar to five HSTs and nine millimeter. Something to consider. All right, guys, I'm still very much learning the trigger and where the, the trigger breaks. If you're worried about animal defense, a 40 flat typical FMJ is going to penetrate, oh, super, super, super deep. So if you're worried about animal and human, maybe you actually Dutch load and stagger in the wintertime, depending on where you are. If you're worried about lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Now, does it actually over-penetrate humans? Yes, and Detroit PD issued it, and yes, it over-penetrated uh, good uh, bad guys and went near good guys and i think even might even hit one i'm not sure um but anyway that's possibly a bonus it's getting cheaper if you actually search online and if getting training with 45 is getting too expensive that could be another reason for 40 if you love 45 hey 40 might be something you could do now at 25 yards danny glover on the left what i can see center mass Left. Okay, so the fourth shot, I think I threw a little left. Let's see. One A zone, three B zone, and just barely nicked him. I'm not happy about that. I rushed a little bit. I uh, yanked a little bit. I went. I broke through the wall before I was ready. So, like I said, I'm learning the trigger still. 25 yards. If you had to make a 25 yards or a 40 yard shot, being a good guy hero. 40 is going to carry more momentum, carry the energy farther than a 9mm would, being a heavy grain. Momentum is important, guys, when going through bone and whatnot and over distance. All right, guys, the MMP 2.0 40 caliber is performing great. I'm getting used to it. I've thrown a couple shots today, but I'm getting used to the recoil and pulse. I'm getting used to where the wall breaks on the trigger. And uh, let's go from five yards. I'm going to do three different Mozambique or failure drills. I'll go center, reholster left, reholster right. Okay. Damn it! Got a little low in her cheek above her lip. To uh, evil Danny Glover on the left. No, Danny! Why? Why, Danny? No! Come on, man! Don't hurt me! And 
And uh, then I'm on the right, Jay Leno's cousin. Drop it! See how I did. All right, first one, two A zone. Five yards, I like that. Double tap, bang, bang. But a little low and left in the head shot. Evil Danny Glover, perfect A zone. Drops him like a ton of bricks on the spine. Head shot a little left, so it should have been here. A little low left. Uh, so I'm doing some bad stuff, getting used to the trigger. I'm not used to the 2.0 trigger, and I threw another one way low left. Not happy about that. And that could be something to not being used to the 40 there. Uh, a zone and just outside the box. B zone there, but good two upper thoracic shots. Those are not far apart. And head shot there. I'd like it a little bit lower, just a little bit high, but centered in the bridge of the cap. So overall, I think it's suitable. I think it's suitable on a platform like this. Even the Glock 23 at Gen 5 is two and a half, almost three ounces heavier, I believe. And the thicker slide doesn't take the same holsters. Um, a lot of them. So, uh, Anyway, let's keep going. Let's let's see my thoughts on the 40. All right, let's do something up close and personal in the cold with gloves on like I'm shopping. Happy uh, Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that good jazz. I mean, maybe you're shopping on Black Friday and they come to jack you as you're putting the, all your presents in for the kids in the trunk of the car. So be aware of your surroundings, everyone. Scan, scan, scan. Be aware. Be turned on. Oh, hey, guys. I don't want any trouble. I don't want you to oh! Look at the shitty grip I got. But, B, A, just on top of each other. A, B, good upper thoracic hit on him. So, even with gloves on and a crappier draw, which is you make sure you train realistically sometime, that's what happened. All right, guys, nine rounds left in the 40 out of a 50 round box, and I'll let you know my thoughts. We're gonna do the three attackers. Starting at three yards, you're probably gonna need at least nine rounds. You're gonna do about five transitions in about a seven and a half second gunfight. You have, that's a minimum. You gotta be prepared minimum for that, and I think 14 rounds, 40, are better than 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 for a civilian rounds of nine millimeter. But I'll wrap up the thoughts later. See how I did with the 40 Smith & Wesson. All right, well, you can't really ask for much better than that. Two A-zone, top of the A-zone, upper thoracic here. Perfect T-box headshot. When I came back to finish the still deadly threat off, two A-zone here. Little high on the headshot, but again, I'm walking backwards. You know, I'm healing back, lifting the heels. And uh, A zone, slightly low B zone. That's the one I'm not totally happy about, but it's linear. It's near his spine. Good expansion, maybe. Maybe nick something and took care of that porn stash on this guy. So, guys, uh, let's look at the shot entropy on these guys. All pretty good hits here. Not bad. All pretty good hits on that guy. She's perforated really good in the A, B zone, and that's it. Uh, that's just a tear from something. Headshot there. Evil Danny Glover. Everything's good here. One went a little high one time. One went way left and one went way left low over here. Would those have happened with 9mm? Probably not, but it's a brand new pistol to me. I'm getting used to the trigger and I'm getting used to the recoil impulse. So, overall, I think that not only was 40 the right choice for law enforcement, and it should still be the right choice for law enforcement, we see way too many guys taking 4 to 12 hits a 9mm. Instead of five hits a nine millimeter, isn't it better to drop them sooner, less deadly threat, less hurting civilians around them and law enforcement around them if three shots upper thoracic 40 did it? Or if six shots of 40 did it versus 10 shots a nine millimeter and how long it takes to get that on target? Less reanimation with 40 and 45, 10 millimeter than you're going to get with nine millimeter. We see a lot of reanimations. Most of these shootings we see are <laughs> civilian or law enforcement are done with nine millimeter and they're needing many, many rounds to put down. 
Mathematically, yes, it's doing 1.65, 1.66 more with the HST. I need to figure out gold dot and critical duty. It's probably more like 1.4 times uh, round per round uh, in similar hollow points. Uh, but with HST starting at that 40, it's going to do more damage. I think not only is it the right choice for law enforcement, but I think it's the right choice for you, at least in this size factor. If you're going to bother to carry, I think this is like a 27 and a half ounce pistol loaded with 14 rounds, I think it's going to come out to like just under 34, 33.8 ounces, I think. I don't know. I haven't weighed it yet. Um, anything 35 ounces loaded is enough for carry. And when I get over 35 ounces, that's really kind of too heavy for me. What do you do in the winter? You probably should when you're outside waistband and carrying a coat. Are you going to carry a micro nine, the seven months of the year? Probably. Should you carry a 40 when you can? Yeah. If I knew I was getting in a gunfight, gunfight, I'm going to carry the highest capacity 40, 45 I can. I'm not going to be carrying a nine millimeter if I knew I was getting a gunfight that day. Especially when most gunfights happen at three, five, seven yard range. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. I am planning to do a Smith and Wesson caliber battle nine versus forty versus forty-five, and then we'll see. But it wouldn't have been fair to have done it today, shooting this pistol and this caliber for the first time. I mean, for the first time in a long time on the caliber, first time with the pistol, and see that trigger break is giving me a little bit. Uh, I've been shooting mostly DASA hammer fired guns lately. So, um, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts, and if you look forward to nine versus forty versus forty-five in Smith and Wesson platforms, and what are you? Do you think you maybe should carry? a bigger caliber when clothing makes it easier and when you're probably going to have to shoot through more layers of clothing. If they went through my arm, right now you're going through three, four layers, probably three, but I got an undershirt on, probably four at the next one, and then you got to go to the heart. Look at Paul Harrell's, Paul Harrell's 9 verse 40 video. Um, I think that's the one where he does the uh, Miami-Dade shootout special sideways target. I think you guys want to take a look at that. Cheers.